Hey guys, Streaming Rack War Veteran here, back with another video. Today I'm actually going to be installing some extra RAM into my desktop computer here. As you see, I got another 16 gig kit from Crucial. I mean, it's a Dell, I'm not going to go nuts with a RAM because it's not a high-end computer, so I'm not going to go out and buy nice gaming RAM for a Dell computer. Go around that way, kitty cat. Come on. As you see there, it says 16 gigs, 2 8 gig sticks, DDR4 2666. This is an OEM type style RAM. Even though my other ones are SK hijinks, I guarantee they're about the same. All right. Now, unlike this other guy that I watched his video, he was saying that, you know, every time you open this up here, Every time you open up this power supply here and lift it up, it's going to rip this completely right out. And <laughs> it's never done that for me for years. I don't know why he would say something like that, to tell you the truth. Because that is just straight bullshit. When you open this up, it is not going to pull this cable to the point where it's going to yank your graphics card out for two reasons. There's a notch in here, right here, for that general purpose to when you open it up, this is fine to leave plugged in. And two, graphics cards are in a secure slot. They're locked in by a little clip at the end of the slot. Now, just to show you, like I've done this many times, you can open this up without an issue, as you see. It's not putting any issue, any, you know, extra pressure on this cable. I can still move around quite easily. It's still fairly free. So if I didn't have to take out the graphics card, if I was just dusting, you could do that and perfectly fine. But today, I do need to take out the graphics card. So I do need to unplug this. Take this stupid thing off, the graphics card support. And then I do need to pull out the graphics card. And I'll show you that clip I was talking about. First, I'm going to press the power button. Just to make sure there's no residual power anywhere. Take this out. And for the idiots that want to make the comment, oh, why are you doing that on a floor? You're going to zap something. I've been doing this for years. I've never had a single issue with doing it on a floor. Ever. Jesus. I forget how hot these cards get since they're a blower style. Wow. All right, I'll show you. We can lift this all the way up. Well, now I'm pinching that. Move that a little bit. Yeah. You can move that all the way up like that. And then you can see the RAM slots down there. Now, from the factory, since I have two 8 gigs, he only had one 8 gig stick, which, yeah, that could be upgraded. And for all the other people that say 32 gigs isn't going to matter for gaming mostly, you're right, it doesn't. I just wanted it. And I know that, so I don't really care. For these, these are the ones that came populated first. As you can see down here, it wants you to populate one and two first. Or, yeah, one and two, which is actually slots like two and four. But they want you to populate the white ones first. And with RAM, it's really simple to get RAM out and in and out. You just pull these little plugs, these little levers, back to get the RAM out. I'm not going to remove the other one. I just want to remove this one so I can show you. Wow, that really popped up good. I just want to remove this one to show you that it's basically the same RAM. I mean, it's SK Hijinx, but it's, it's basically the same RAM. As you can see, it's just an OEM style type RAM. These ones are SK Hijinx, but... Uh, OEM RAM versus OEM RAM. It's it's going to work perfectly fine. It doesn't matter if it's SK Hijinx. I guarantee they have the same lower end timings. These aren't nothing special. Now with these, all you have to be careful with is the slot that you see there. The slot on these is more towards this end right there. So when you put these in... 
you have to put them into the slot matches. And then you just push on both parts at the same time. Just like that, and then you're good to go. The other reason I got the uh, 16 more gigs of RAM is I might actually start doing video editing, maybe. And if you're doing video editing and stuff like that, yeah, 32 gigs is going to help you out. me these slots have never been used so they're stiff damn sometimes they don't clip all the way in but if it's a fully seated I'll just clip the clip in the rest of the way partially seated just like that and then just push from the top and the bottom at the same time and that one seated even better I am gonna reseat this one just to make sure it seats properly because I did have a little bit of issue with this first one so like I said I want to reseat this one I really don't want to tear this apart if I don't need to again. I mean, it's not difficult, but I just don't want to do it. Yeah, it doesn't like to snap in on that other end, but that can't be much harder. Much more than that. As you can see, I got all four sticks of RAM in there. Make sure all those are closed. If you have any issues, just reopen it and reseat the RAM. But since this is all OEM style RAM, it should be perfectly fine. They all should be compatible with each other. Oh, I'll show you one more thing real quick. Even though that guy thought that, you know, lifting that power supply up, the, the, the cable would rip the card right out of the thing. This locks up in that position when it's in. It locks that card into place. Because that little end clip, which I'll show you here. That little end piece of plastic sits right in that end piece right there. So it's not going to yank it up no matter what that idiot thought. I don't know why he would think that. If he had a card that just ripped, then maybe his shit was broken. But he had the exact same computer I did, so... Or that I do. And when you push it in, it clips that clip. All right. Now I'm just going to close this sucker up. Okay, making sure that blue clip was up. You don't really need this support, but I use it. Just in case. Put that in there. Close this down. Clip down on those two clips. Plug this back in here. This is a six plus two pins so you gotta push them together and you just do that uh, and i am still using my <laughs> remodded version of the case <laughs> i thought it was cool it adds uh quite a bit more cooling fins to the front end i mean it's not spectacular looking but this whole section makes for much more cooling in there all right guys i'm streaming rackware veteran hopefully you enjoyed the video have a good one